Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about Acer Store versus Synology. I want to talk about a brand new Acer Store NAS that was released at the very very closing stages of 2019. I want to compare it against a Synology NAS that was released midway through that same year. I want to talk about the Acer Store Locker Store 10 versus the Synology DS2419. This is a 10 bay versus a 12 bay. Now, I know that seems a bit uneven, but it has to be said that um, Acer Store seem to be one of the few brands out there that have ever produced a 10 bay NAS. QNAP done it a little while ago, but they kind of kind of held fire on 10 bay NASs, and Acer Store have swept in with a range of 10 bays overall. And as soon as this Acer Store was released, a lot of you wanted to know just how well it compared against some of its rivals in Synology and QNAP. So that's what I want to talk about today. And I got it narrowed down to either the DS1819 or the DS2419, and I've erred on the side of caution for the 2419 plus. But it's worth mentioning if you are looking at the 8 bay from Synology, either one of those two NASs this comparison will work for you in most ways. Now, why is that? Well, let's talk about hardware first. Now, the new Locker Store NAS from Acer Store has a number of features that are unheard of in the NAS industry in terms of their combination. If you didn't already watch my hardware review, let me summarize. The Locker Store 10 arrives with 10 SATA bays on the front that support up to the very latest 14 and 16 terabyte hard drives, and of course SSDs. It's got an LCD panel there on the front, and on top of that, LEDs and a USB front-mounted copy button. There's also, I'm told, support of USB 3.2, and if we look at the rear of the device, we can see that it arrives with 2.5 GBE, two ports, that's a link aggregated 5 GBE, and two 10 gigabit Ethernet ports as well. This is combined with an two internal NVMe SSD bays allowing super fast SSD caching options to the 10 bays of storage. So in terms of hardware, this is incredible. And when I first saw it back at Computex last year, I was genuinely stunned. Now, the Synology, on the other hand, in terms of external hardware, tells a different story. The DS2419 12 bay arrives with 12 storage bays, each supporting the very latest hard drives of SATA, and of course it supports SSDs as well. No LCD panel, but if we look at the rear of the device, we can see that it arrives with four um, one GBE LAN port, some USB ports, an expandable option to allow you to connect another 12 bays of storage with the DX1215, and it arrives with a PCIe Gen 3 t um, times 8 slot. What does that mean in real terms? Well, this device, the Synology, arrives with 1 GBE ports only, but can be upgraded to 10 gigabit Ethernet over one or two ports, or with certain Melanex cards, it can adopt 2.5 GB, uh, 25 GBE, and of course, 40 GBE too. But because that's an optional extra, we're not going to include that, in this comparison. So, what are we looking at? Well, the 2419 Plus is the mo more expensive of the two, arriving at around 11 or 1200 pounds, depending on where you buy. Alternatively, the Locker Store arrives at about 950 to a grand. That is a huge disparity, given that the 12 bay device arrives at a much higher price point, but seemingly has lesser hardware. It doesn't have the NVMe SSD cache options inside. You can upgrade with a card, but again, optional purchase, so we're not going to talk about it. So, in terms of hardware, the Acer Store looks phenomenal and unbeatable. So, why is it not just so cut and dry between these two devices, why you wouldn't just go for the brand new Acer Store? Well, a lot of it comes down to software, because don't get me wrong, the Acer Store software platform is very, very good. They've got a whole range of applications, and the ADM platform is very well evolved from what we saw a year or two ago. They've definitely cleaned up the App Center and they've introduced a lot of first party applications that have really improved ADM for business users, as well as improved container station support and virtualization support with um, VirtualBox. They've got their own surveillance platform in Surveillance Center and a myriad of snapshot backup options and traditional RTRR um, um, real-time remote replication, support of BTRFS, and NAS to NAS, NAS to cloud, and NAS to USB backup options as well. It has a bunch of apps, but 
the software is not as polished as Synology. Synology have thrown the lion's share of their profits at the software with DSM 6.2. And in terms of software, they are killing it. Notwithstanding that their surveillance platform is still to date the best surveillance software out there, they have got a whole host of first party apps that will replace things like Skype and WhatsApp in your environment with Synology Chat. You can use it to replace things like Microsoft 365 and Google Docs with Synology Office. Active Backup Suite allows you to have an entire backup strategy accessible via a single portal that does not cost any extra. Even their virtualization platform is first party with Synology's Virtual Machine Manager software and with a better mail um, handling application and Synology's Drive application becoming an incredible tour de force of localized synchronization, synchronization so you can access your files and folders with the appearance of locality and DSM-7 promising enormous leaps in areas like SSD caching and the integrity of your data with a drive failure prediction being included as well. That is why this comparison is not clear cut. The Asus Store platform does give you a myriad of applications and you definitely get your money's worth from this device. But with the Synology, you also get your money's worth. But instead of getting your money's worth in the hardware department, you get your money's worth in the software department. And that is how the gap is closed. And ultimately, the main difference between these two devices. They've both got, uh, I believe, three years of warranty across the two of them. And indeed, the Locker Store 10 arrives in a professional version, the Locker Store 10 Pro, that does bring another ingredient to the table that is absent here. Because I've not even touched on why I'm comparing these two devices, or at least the 1819 and the 2419, against this Locker Store. And it's to do with the processor. They both arrive with that Deviton or Atom CPU, the Intel C3538, a 2.1 gigahertz quad-core processor that is starting to look quite dated. It's a great file handling CPU, but once you go into the dizzying heights of dual, uh, sorry, link aggregated 10 GBE, SSD caching and more, that processor doesn't bring enough to the table for me for you to take advantage of these features and functionality. And I think... In terms of the Locker Store 10, at least in terms of my personal testing, I found that it its eyes were bigger than its stomach. It, it has all this potential throughput and a CPU that just can't carry. And that's why I think the Pro version that arrives with its Xeon processor is a, small, is a better purchase. But then these two can't be compared. Then you've got to compare against the Synology 3617XS. And that is a very, very different ballgame. So bring it back to these two devices i've got to say if you are interested in hardware if you're interested in using your third-party applications and what you want is a smart reliable rugged and future-proofed data storage center to work behind the scenes unnoticed the locker store 10 is the one for you however if what you want is software you want a complete software hardware package and you want a more user-friendly option that and particularly if you're a mac user Definitely, the Synology 2419 Plus is the more solid choice for you. I'm not going to say one is better than the other. I'm going to say that these devices have a different optimal user in mind. And I hope that it's helped you choose between them. If you've enjoyed this video, click like. If you want to learn more about all these NAS brands and what's happening in 2020 in the world of network attached storage, click subscribe. And otherwise, I'll see you next time.